Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we will be seeing about female reproductive system, anatomy and physiology. If you are preparing for your medical coding interview, you should be very clear with all the anatomy system. So that hereby I have added a playlist for all the anatomy system. You can go through it if you really uh, looking for medical coding job. The points are very easy so that you can make a note of it and keep it will be helpful for your preparation. First start with uh, definition female reproductive system consists of the primary as well as accessory sex organ. The primary sex organ in female are a pair of ovary which produce ova or egg and uh, they also secrete female sex hormones like progesterone and estrogen. The other accessory organs include uterus, fallopian tube, cervix and vagina. The external genitalia comprises the labia minora, labia majora and uh, clitoris. Okay. Next, the female reproductive system anatomy. The female reproductive system framed to perform different function. It creates egg shells, uh, egg cells that are essential for the reproduction known as ova. The system is organized to deliver the ova to the region of fertilization. The egg fertilization takes place in the fallopian tube along with the sperm. The implanting in the wall of the uterus and initiating the stage of pregnancy is the next step. So what are the parts of female reproductive system? The female reproductive uh, system includes both external as well as internal parts. The external part, the function of external genitals are to protect the internal parts from infection and allow sperms to enter into the vagina. Vulva is a collective term used for the external genitalia. A lot of people mistakenly use the term vagina to describe the female reproductive parts. So here the main parts include labia majora, labia minora, clitoris, vaginal opening, hymen and opening to your urethra so i have given a definition you can go through it internal parts include vagina cervix uterus ovaries and fallopian tube vagina is a muscular canal that um, joins a cervix that is a lower part of uterus to outside of the body it can widen to accommodate a labor baby delivery and then shrinks back to its uh, back uh, something narrow like a tampon it is lined with a mucous membrane that helps to keep it moist Next comes the ovaries. Ovaries act as a main female sex organs that produce a female gamete and various hormones. These organs are situated one on both of the side of the lower abdomen. Each ovary measures about 2 to 4 cm in length which is then connected to the uterus and pelvic wall through the ligaments. The ovary is surrounded by a thin covering of epithelium, encloses the ovarian and is divided into two zones. Mm, then comes to the uterus. A uterus is also called as a womb. It is a muscular inverted pear shaped organ of the female reproductive system. The wall of the uterus consists of three layers. The inner glandular layer, the middle thick layer and the outer thin layer. These three layers are maintained by ligaments which are attached to the pelvic wall when then opens into the vagina for the normal cervix. The cervical canal along with the vagina secretes the birth canal. Next comes a fallopian tube. Fallopian tube are a pa pair of muscular tubes and funnel shaped structure extended from the right and left side of the superior corner of the uterus to the edge of the ovaries. These tubes are enclosed in a small projection called fimbriae that swipes over the ovaries to pick up released ova and deliver them into the infundibulum for supplying the uterus. Each fallopian tube is covered by cilia that function by carrying the ovum to the uterus. Next comes the vagina. The vagina is a muscular and elastic tube that connects the cervix to the external body. It functions as a receptacle for the penis in sexual intercourse and delivers sperm to the fallopian tube and uterus. It also acts as a birth canal by expanding to allow delivery of the fetus during the childbirth. The external genitalia comprises the labia minora, labia majora and clitoris. Next, you have to talk about the menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle is a series of hormone-induced monthly changes in the female reproductive organs. It involves two cycles, the interactive and the overlap, the ovarian cycle and the uterine cycle. Ovarian cycle goes through the mm, three phases, that is follicular, ovulation and luteal. Together, these allow the mature and release the ovum. Uterine cycle has three phases, mens menses, proliferative, that you can read and then frequently asked questions are given here what are the three layers of the uterus what is the cervix what are the functions of the ovary 
these things you have to go through so that's all about there is not uh, we don't have much points to talk about female reproductive system and all. usually reproductive system they don't ask uh, at the time of interview for just to prepare i have given that's it thank you so much for watching my video take care wish you all the best for your interview